Hi everyone. So today I wanted to show uh, the power of Ansible working together with F5. So we're going to go from a, a scenario perspective where we we want to achieve a couple of things. The first thing is is in the background over here. You can see that I've got uh, a just a vanilla Linux installation. There's actually nothing on this. This is basically a a fresh install. And I want to achieve a couple of things with this Linux installation. I want to install Docker and all the dependencies for containerization. What I then want to do is I want to pull in a, um, a container, a web server essentially. And then what I want to do is I want to start up multiple instances of this web server. So have essentially multiple web servers running on this uh, Linux box. And once I've done that, I want to pull that into my F5. So I want to create um, a pool of web servers, which I will load balance to. Um, I also want to achieve some things on the F5, for example, SSL offload. So I want to encrypt the traffic before I send it through to the web servers. And I want to attach web application firewall policies and logging profiles and so on and so forth to this um, on the F5 so that I can secure my traffic and so on and so forth. Now, if I had to think from an engineer's perspective, how long this is going to take me to do, um, I've had some feedback from the field, some guys that are really quick, maybe, you know, an hour or two, um, some guys that maybe are not as skilled up, maybe they would say a day or two, or some people even a week. Now, with Ansible, uh, you can do this kind of thing really, really quickly. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's just uh, convince you first. So if we look at this, uh, Linux installation over here. I do a Docker PS minus A just to see. Uh, the first thing you'll see here is Docker is not installed. Uh, so we have nothing really on this box. Um, if I come to my F5 configuration and I look at my pools, you can see here uh, my pools, if I search for the Ansible tag, I've got nothing. And if I look for my virtual servers with the Ansible tag, I've got nothing as well. So we've got absolutely nothing uh, in terms of config on this box. What we're going to do now is we're going to use Ansible and I'm showcasing Tower over here to do a couple of things. Now, on Tower, I have created various job templates. These are basically like your playbooks, your Ansible playbooks that are going to achieve a certain thing. So, for example, my first step would be to install the web server, which would target the Linux installation. Then once I had done that, I would configure my F5 node, node pools and virtual servers. And that I would do on the F5 itself. But what's really cool about Tower is that you can actually do these things called workflow templates, which essentially are going to run multiple job templates or playbooks, uh, one after the other in a sequence. So that's really, really cool. Okay, so what are we going to do is we're going to configure our web server and add it to the F5. So we're going to do everything with basically a workflow template. Let's see how long this takes. So we're going to start this up. And you can kind of see in the Ansible Tower GUI over here uh, what we're going to do. So I have two steps over here. I have installing a web server. That would be the first step. And again, that's going to target my Ubuntu uh, installation over here. And the second step that I'm going to do is then go and install the F5 nodes, pools, and virtual servers. Now, you can see this little dot. It's kind of going in and out. Uh, and we can actually see what's happening over here. So if I click on details, I can see that my playbook has started to install a Hackazon server. It's gathering some facts. Um, it's basically installed Python for Ansible. Now it's installing curl. Um, it's doing some adding some keys for Docker. So this is quite nice. You can actually see what's happening here as it goes through the steps. It's also going to check for things like, for example, is, is Docker installed or is it not installed? Um, if it wasn't installed, I, I would basically skip the installation step. Uh, right now, you can actually see that it wasn't installed. It says installed none. So right now, it's going to go ahead and install, install Docker. So we should be able to see this happening pretty quickly. Um, in the meantime, so if we go back to our, our templates, um, you can see that in the workflow template, this is also going in and out. So you can see we've got a job ID that's running. And if we click on that, we can, it will take us back to this page. Now, once this step 
where we install the web server completes, this little box is going to go green and it will be done. And then if it is successful, and only if it is successful, it will move on to the next step, which is configuring my F5 node tools and books. And this has just happened. So you can see that it's turned nice and green. And before we go and look at that F5 config, if we come now to the Docker, uh, to the Linux installation, we'd load Docker PS4 and say again. Now you can see, great, okay, I have Docker installed clearly. And actually I've got three instances, one, two, three instances of this Hackazon uh, container image up. It's been up for a couple of seconds. And you can see I'm running on three different ports, 80, 81, and 82. Right, so this is my web server configuration completed. Now, it's the same thing with the F5 config. So if I have a look at the F5 config right now, you can see that it's basically creating pools, creating pool member one, two, three, creating the virtual server. Now it's assigning a logging profile. So this should complete very, very quickly. In fact, it's already finished. So if I come now back to my F5 config and I have a look at my pools, you can see I now have a Ansible Hackazon pool configured. And if I click on this pool, I've assigned a health monitor, which is nice. If I look at my members, there you go. You can see the three members with 80, 81, and 82 all in there. And if I come to the virtual servers, I can see, oh, look, here is my Hackazon virtual server. It's been configured. It has everything appropriate. So for example, it has an SSL client profile. So I'm doing SSL offloading. We've assigned an HTTP profile to this as well. And if I come to my security policies over here, I have a manual configuration for the WAF, which I've done as well. So basically we have configured a Linux box with Docker, pulled in uh, web servers, started up multiple instances of them, pulled all of that into the F5 for load balancing. And we've achieved this, if we have a look at our template over here, which should now be complete. We've achieved this in two minutes and 38 seconds. Okay, so super, super fast. Uh, and basically, uh, you can redo this again. So I actually have another template over here that says rollback. If I run this template, it's gonna basically roll back everything. And it also takes around about two minutes. So super, super fast. And uh, you can do pretty much anything with Ansible on F5, which is really, really cool. And all the Ansible modules are supported. So Hopefully this just shows you how quickly you can do things with Ansible in an automated fashion and get things up and running on your F5.